Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today Aaron and I are here at Cat and Walt's uh, Drunk Junk and Treasures in Centralia, Illinois. Now, the last time I was here, I believe it was last time, I tried to film like live on YouTube, and that didn't go well because the reception quality was pretty bad. But today, I'm just we're doing a video. I'm gonna go in. I'll try to show you all the things that I can. I know we had to cut it short last time too because it was just really bad and spotty, but it's gonna be good. Maybe we'll find some things. I tend to always do, I tend to always, I usually find some good things here. <laughs> so that's really exciting. So let's go on in to the antique store. All right, here it is. Let's go on inside. Go on a ring first time. I don't even know if they had it, did they? Yeah, they had it. Oh, Aaron. But then we were already talking. out of town in Florida <laughs> last weekend when it was, so. That's a pretty swirly bowl. $12. And this is Hall. This should be Hall. And then there's some Amish butter print in there and some Pyrex next to it. Oh, I found you a lantern. I don't think it's that old. I don't know if that's old. No, that's a reproduction one, I think. Let's go this way. Let's go back this way, because this, oh, they kind of changed it up a little. Let's see, $16. They have some really pretty glassware in here. So like that button, Hopstar and button type. It's like a little rose bowl type, $16. And then there's a satin swung back there. There's a topsy-turvy girl. She, well, not a topsy curt. no. That's just a girl that's a little, she's a little tipsy. She's a little tipsy gal. Japan figurines are $3 each. Wow, the little dogs are cute. I'm trying not to buy so many figurines these days. I'm trying to be specific with my figurine buying. Ooh, I like, oh, it's locked. I wouldn't mind that down there for $6. I like that little, that little, um, it's like a little dresser piece. I think I'll get that. That's in this case. And then there's all of these paperweights. Let's take a look here. That one has a chip on it. This swan looks nice. It's 20. We won't do that. Some other nice glass up there. And then here, we have some sort of bohemian type vases. Ooh, is this uranium? Can't, no, it's clear and green for 12, little hazel atlas covered. Okay, I this is pretty too though, the, the colors on that for 36. I am gonna get, ah, calm down. I am gonna get the that one thing down there, but then they also have all this really pretty glass over here. So many nice things. I like this one because it sort of has like a deco vibe with the way that that is on the side there. A little basket for 18. A little shot glass, Westmoreland wedding cake, bowl. Okay. Oh, these are only $3, these little satiny Made in Taiwan, so they're not terribly old, but they are cool looking. Mm-hmm. I, 28, the Westmoreland open lace is really pretty, this blue bowl, you see that? Isn't that just stunning? I think so. Ooh, look at this, 16. I'm gonna get that. Bitter, is it called bittersweet? I think that one is bittersweet. I'm gonna get that open bowl too. And then if you're not done and sick of glass yet, you can look at all this beautiful glass. So, oh, you can hear Aaron back there about his railroad lantern. There's some, that might be Ellie Smith, the black footed amethyst. Ooh, I really love the colors of that right there. You see that? That's, that's nice color combination there for 38, it really is. So I don't think, and then lots of Fenton Silvercrest down there. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and get her so that I can get a couple of those other things in the cases. All right, I wanted to show it up close. Yeah, that's really nice. It's a good thicker glass. It's beveled as well for $6. I like it a lot. I think it's nice. So I'm getting that one. We've got that room over there to go through as well. I know it, right? Oh, it's getting popular in here. Well, I just looked over and I saw this nice marigold carnival. So I'm going to get that. And it's only $8, which is amazing price. But that is just really pretty. So I'm going to get that too. Here we go. Now we can see this one too. So that is really stunning. Like, can you imagine this for Halloween or really a lot of time of the year? I think that is bittersweet though. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. I love it. Like maybe Ellie Smith or I think it's Ellie Smith with the way the base is done. And I'm saying L period E period, not like Ellie, like somebody's name. L E Smith. Yeah. I, or maybe it's Viking. <laughs> Goodness gracious. But I'm going to get it for 16 all right, so I've got a pile started now, which is awesome. They've got a lot of nice baskets just hanging around. Let's go in here. I like that chicken up here. Uh, oh, they made it in 1949? Oh, that's cool. <coughs> really? 49? I would have never guessed it was that old. This looks like something out of the 70s or 80s. I'm just not sure about that. That's kind of interesting, huh? 49. I don't know. I don't know if I can trust that date. <laughs> I should. I should be able to trust it. There's no reason I shouldn't. Okay. They've got so many nice little things in here. All these creamers and ice cream scoops. I like that green one. It's pretty. A little ice cream cone. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then a Borden's Dairy Cow. The cow creamers, those are $8. See, that's not bad. Well, the middle one is eight. Mm. Covered butter. It's missing the under plate though. Darn. Ooh, they've got little metal toys. I haven't been buying like toy things lately. That bank is kind of fun. That might be Ohio art, although it could also not be. Oh, does it not have a price? I can't tell. Darn. Does this open? Oh yeah, it just opens right up. Let's see what the globe is. Three, oh, okay. So who made that litho tin? It just says Japan. Let me see if there's any other writing on it. No, 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 no. Okay, well, for $3, I'll just go ahead and pick it up. I think it's adorable. I'd sell it for about 12. Cute little thing. Oh, look at the pigs. And the elephant jar is nice. That's 20 back there. Okay. You know what? Last time I came here, I bought like all of their, I bought like all of their Bluebirds of Happiness. Ooh, I like, wait a minute, these are good. That's good price. For the Art Deco frame, $3. And then look at her. I'm buying her as well. I'm buying her. There we go. I'm gonna add these to my pile. I'm gonna build my pile as high as I can. Mm-hmm. Yep, you love it. He loves whenever I make a pile. Look at the Van Briggle. It says it's as is, unfortunately. You can see a big chip there, so it's 16. This is a nice green pottery, too, for 36. It's very good. I like it. Um, they have so many nice things in the window as well. Ooh, they have the um, window catcher, the light catchers. A lot of these are like six bucks. That's great. I mean, really, I could only double my money on them, so I don't think I will. But, ooh, how much is that? It's Westmoreland for 10, painted. No, I don't think I will. Cookie jars. 
That's another thing, they're just really bulky. We have all these things in here. They just have a really nice store. I like it. So if you're ever in, in Centralia, you should stop on by. That's a cool, this is a round curio cabinet. It just is like completely circular and it's freestanding for 250. That's neat. Their toothpicks are like, mm, yeah, they're all priced differently and I don't think I can do any of those. The milk glass one though is only six. Is like, if there's no chips on that, I'll get that one actually. Oh, it's, it's locked up. Yeah, I want that one if it doesn't have any chips on it for six, because that's a decent price. I would think I could sell that one for about 18 to 20 actually. It's really cute. All right, so we'll get them for that case. And then we'll press on. Now this area back here is really awesome to look at, but it's not usually something that I dabble in too much. But they have a ton of Pyrex. Actually, they're kind of low on it right now because usually this is filled to the gill with Pyrex. Kind of like some of these over here. They have some Fire King up there, some... I forget the name of this. Is it Glass Bake? Ah, I better calm, my, calm myself down. I don't remember who made that one. It's, I don't think it's, it's not, is it Fire King? They call that gay fad whenever it's painted like that. But they have a lot of people come over from St. Louis and get their things and then turn around and resell them over in St. Louis because the prices are better here for their, their pieces, but they're, they're pretty low. Oh, they have a lot of Pyrex primary up there. But, um, and um, butterfly and corning wear, cornflower blue. But yeah, so I don't usually come even look in here because I just, I don't. I don't, I try to find things that are a little bit different than the what's like super popular and on everybody's minds. So this is interesting, I found it. I actually picked up a White Castle mug the other day I think I paid six for mine. This one is 12. And I found out after I bought it that Barb was trying to collect restaurant wear mugs like this. So I'll see if she wants it. Otherwise I'll resell it, but 12 is not a bad price. These are very hard to find. And um, so I, in fact, I have a Steak and Shake mug and then I also have a White Castle mug. And I wouldn't mind getting some others, but I'm kind of particular about it. So a lot of these are feeding your signs in here. They also have stuff in their bathroom you could buy. <laughs> you know, it's, I mean, we're in the dark in here, but yeah, they, you just look around whenever you're seated and <laughs> see if you want anything. Um, yeah, you could put that in my pile too. And then, we're, then, and then we're gonna go out back, which I'm not sure if we'll find anything out back, but that's RS Germany. I was gonna say RS Prussia, but it says RS Germany. Nice little bowl for three. This one is adorable, actually, with the birds. Hmm. Where was that mug at? Was it in here? The mug was in one of these cubbies. Oh, there, right. Yeah. Looks like a little inkwell for 18. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and head on back this way. They specialize in a lot of furniture as well. So, like they have a lot of furniture back here. They do a lot of uh, events where they go out to flea markets and things and they sell stuff that way too. Oh, if you look up, you see like all these yard things, like the bicycle planters actually those are neat they have a lot of those maybe those are like reproduction ones do you see them they're like the wire bicycle arts actually there's more down here do you think they buy them and then resell them because that's cool like this jumbo one is only 58 dollars gosh darn wouldn't that be cool on the back porch where'd you go 
Wouldn't that be cool on the back porch? Because we have a mid-century wire set. It's all like made of wire. That's like right up that alley, kind of. The bicycle. And oh. then you put plants in it. Isn't that neat? Yeah. There's the black one. There's the white one. There's like this little green. There's a little green one. I feel like these are reproductions. Probably. Because there's like multiples in different colors. I would imagine. If they were real, they'd be, I think they'd be more than $58. Ooh, that scared me, that old, that Reaper guy. Yeah. Okay, and then the other room is back here. Sometimes they do have a couple like little things in their curios. Yeah. That you could, I could buy. Ooh, that's a neat, that's a neat lamp. That is a neat lamp. There's like a diffuser and then it has the, the shade over it. Oh. Art twerk. Oh, there's a fairy lamp. It was hiding back here in the blue. I'll have to take it up there and see how much they want for it because there's not a price on it. Uh, let me carry it up there. Well, maybe you can see how much they want for that one too while you're up there. I ain't going up yet. I'm oh, get done back here. there's the Sereno snack set. That's cool that it's in the box. This is Anchor Hawking Sereno in the avocado green. They made this in clear and gold. I think blue as well. You find it in pitcher sets and cups, tumblers. I gotta look because see that that. Fairy lamp was just setting out randomly. Ooh, do you smell a cat in here? Mm -hmm. I do. I'm sure one's been in here. Oh, I do. I smell it. I can't be back here much longer. That's a blue sprayed on finish for $2, and that's not bad. It's really vibrant. Coco. I can't get into it. Oh, yeah. I got to get out of here. Oi. Oi. Okay. Blow molds. Spray paint. You can't even get that way. So full. Alright. That's a cool, that's a cool big gold coffee jar. A lot of this they haven't priced. They'd bring it in and then they didn't get to it yet. But that's a good jar. Maybe Hazel Atlas. Or no, Anchor Hawking. Anchor Hawking. Or no, it's Hazel Atlas. What is my... Uh, Hazel Atlas. Goodness gracious. Okay, we'll go back up front. We'll see how much this fairy lamp is. Hopefully it's doable. All right, well, I don't think I'm going to get this, but I wanted to definitely show it because it's something I hadn't seen before, but it's this sort of like lacquerware Japan photo album. They have $24 on it. By the way, I got the fairy lamp for $4. $4. So that was, that was outstanding. But th this is cool. I usually see like the music boxes and stuff like that with this, but a photo album. Part of me thinks I should buy it, but like, I don't know. I'd have to take a chance on it. I'm not sure how well this style is going right now. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. All right, so I did pretty well here at Cat and Waltz, and with that, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I, I think I did really well, yes. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.